the Dr. Mrs. Ipalibo Hari Barnigo, DSSRS, Deputy Governor of River State. The Right Honorable Ikui Owaji Bani, DSSRS, Speaker of River State House of Assembly. Mala Mohamed Bello Adoke, SAN, former Attorney General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief Dan Obi, Vice Chairman, South South Zone of the People's Democratic Party. Chief Ferdinand Alabrabra, Chairman, Elders Council of the PDP River State. Ambassador Desmond Akao, Chairman, People's Democratic Party River State. The running mate of the PDP Standard Bearer in River State, Professor Mrs. Ngozi Odu. A former BOT member of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Sam, Sam Jaja. Distinguished Senators and members of the National and State Assemblies, Chief of Staff and members of the State Executive Council, Elder Statesmen, Your Majesty King Dr. Dan Desin Douglas Jaja, JP, JK V, Treaty King and Amanabo of Opobo, Chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers and other Royal Majesties and Royal Highnesses here present, Special Advisors, Permanent Secretaries, Mayor and Chairman of Local Government Councils here present, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the commissioning of the remodeled Water Lines Building constructed by the River State Government. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I respectfully invite for the presentation of Kola, His Majesty, Eze Uchechuku Isaiah Iliku, JP, Eze Para Rebisi, the 12th Paramount Ruler of Port Harcourt. Nigeria <laughs> Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point invite to give the welcome remarks the Mayor of Potaka City Local Government Council, Honorable Hyunda Orwell. Your Excellency, yes, son, as all we can, the Governor of River State, our special guest, Your Excellency, Al Haji Ibrahim Idris, the former Governor of Kogi State. Your Excellencies, may I kindly adopt the already established protocols. Your Excellencies, on behalf of His Royal Majesty, Eze Barrister Uche Eliku, the Eze Parabisi, and the Paramount Ruler of Portacourt, and the good people of Portacourt City, local government, we wish to respectfully welcome you to this very auspicious occasion of the commissioning of the remodeled Water Lines House. Your Excellency, our people are indeed very grateful to you for all the numerous projects you have executed in Portacourt City. Your Excellency, we thank you specially for this project because this project has changed the beauty of this area. It has added to an improved landscape your Excellency, we thank you for what you have been doing for us. We pray that the good Lord will continue to keep you for us. Lord will bless you, grant you good health, and grant you long life. Your Excellency, Ibella Wei, Mekau, Mekau, Mekau. Your Excellency, Ibella Wei, Mekau, Mekau, Mekau. 
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to thrill us with this sonorous voice, may I invite Aloysius Mbata. Thank you. time for Aloysius Mbata. May I now invite the Orochery women. Put our hands together for them one more time.
Thank you very much. Our Rotary women, thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we put our hands together, may I invite the Ozurumba Rumawoji. May I now invite the Ozurumba Rumawoji. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point invite to give the project description the Honorable Commissioner for Special Projects, Honorable Dema Iyala. Distinguished invited guest, His Excellency Alaji Ibrahim Idris, former governor of Kogi State. His Excellency, permit me to stand on existing protocol. His Excellency, this complex is made up of one, four story, the modern, modern building. Two, four-story new office building. Three, a service building. Four, security building at the gatehouse. Your Excellency, the remodel building is fully furnished with a mini banking hall and auxiliary offices. Each floor, each floor has director's office. We have four floors. For outside the ground floor, we have three more floors. So you have three director's offices, three senior officers' office, and other support staff offices. 
the annex that is the new building has the same facilities which this main building has. But the only difference is that it is fully furnished with a canteen. Then we have a hundred uh, seating capacity building hall. That is the only thing with a public address system and a, pro a projector. The buildings are fully equipped with CCTV surveillance system, internet that data facility, smoke and fire alarm system, three elevators. The three elevators, the main building, the remodel building has two of the elevators, one in the others. We have three emergency exits. The entire complex, Your Excellency, is provided with the following. Generator has with 500 capacity generator set, a 500 kVA transformer, a water fountain, 100, 100 cars parking space, activated electric fence system, security perimeter fencing and lighting system, well landscaped green areas and with water reticulation system. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a remark on behalf of the contractor, details to DOT Development Nigeria Limited, may I invite architect Ako Adapoi. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Nyesum Ezemowike, CON, GSSRS, POS Africa, his Excellency, our distinguished and inestimable special guest of honor, for want of time, please permit me to ride on the horse of the already established protocols. My name is architect Akwa Dapoy, FNIA, principal of the proudly Nigerian firm that delivered this project. This massive office building is commissioned today amongst the very many initiatives of His Excellency towards supporting the transformation agenda of the government and represents a significant milestone in the cooperation of the government to deliver on our promises for the economic growth of our dear state. The actualization of this big dream by His Excellency is a proof that anything is possible and that no tax is too big once we commit ourselves completely without reservation to it. This state-of-the-art office complex will be to the benefit of all and sundry. It will play a major role in the social and economic vitality of the river state and will no doubt add to the growing change and in the landscape of the social economic development of the state. The capacity unit of this facility are unprecedented with the best features you can find anywhere in the world. It is fully equipped with CCTV surveillance system, internet to data facility, smoke to fire alarm system, three elevators, two main and two emergency staircases, and a fully equipped service building. The remodeled main building has 15 offices for directors, 32 single offices, eight general offices, four conference halls, and a banking hall on the ground floor. The brand new annex building has a 150 capacity meeting hall, a canteen, three offices for directors, 24 single offices, and three conference rooms. This in many ways is an achievement of climbing the highs by His Excellency, a story of hard work and effort towards fast-tracking the industrial revolution of our dear state. We want to say a big thank you, sir, for showing exemplary leadership and being a beacon of hope in these trying times for our country. Thank you for creating a thriving economy for River State. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your success story. Thank you for showing that promises made on the podium of campaigns can be fulfilled and even surpassed. God bless you and God bless River State.
For I know that you are always there for me. Almighty God, you are my all in all. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a speech, may I respectfully invite the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesum Ezewonwike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, Charles Paul. Yesum Ezewonwike, you two no road, now you me, I go follow. Now we can have a level, follow who do, do, do. Here is you, go follow who do, do, do. Now we can. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State, Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, the former Governor of Kogi State, Alhaji Ibrahim Idris, one of the leaders of our great party, the Zona Vice Chairman of our great party, Childan Obi, the right, the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly and other Assembly members here are present. The Rolling Mate or let me use the word, the incoming Deputy Governor of the State, Professor Ngozi Odo, who is presenting the incoming Governor of the State. Members of the National Assembly that are here, the delegation, members of the delegation of our leader, Ibrahim Idris from Kogi State, the former Minister and Attorney General of the Federation, former Deputy National Chairman of our party, who went on transfer and is back to his party, Dr. Sam Samjaja. The Chairman of Federal Committee, Chief Ferdinand Alababa, who just came back, whereas honeymoon. I don't know what I will say again. He just came back as a chief. Are you sure that uh, you traveled properly? The chairman of River State Traditional Rulers Council and members of the River State Traditional Rulers Council, let me particularly greet the other parallel and members of his council that are here. Mayor of Port Harcourt, and your councillors that are here, my dear leaders of the state, our dear women, beautiful women who came out here to dance for us, dressing gorgeously, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, let me on behalf of the government and people of the state most sincerely thank you for honoring our invitation as part of the short notice that was given to you. This is the second time we have invited you and you have honored us. The first one was when you came to commission the first phase of Eastern Bypass Road, which you commissioned. Today, you have come here to commission the remodel, what we call former Water Alliance House, and the new edifice to attach to it. We don't know how to thank you and members of your entourage that left Kogi State. God is infinite mercy. We bless you. Your Excellency, I'm sure 
you are fully familiar of Port Harcourt. You were just speaking Calabari to the Deputy Governor when you came back, you've been to Bakana, Tombia, Abonima, and this and that. I'm sure you wouldn't have known those areas without knowing this uh, area too. Most people will forget what used to be here, how it was. I have told those who are in charge, first of all, they should be able to show some documentary. A lot of people who do not know, know what was here and what is here today. That is the only way people can appreciate what the government has done. This flyover was commissioned by the governor of Lagos State, Babajire Sanwolu, some few weeks ago. People were abusing us while we are doing flyovers. Today, people have seen the beauty of Port Harcourt. Somebody told me while we were in the bus, two, three minutes, five minutes, they've gone around the Port Harcourt. Those who criticize because, you know, some people have this problem that they don't know. They don't travel. They say they go to, if you go to Houston, you go here, you see flyover. They don't understand. The whole of this Sabaroad has seven flyovers, all completed. Now you can drive from LMA Junction down to a to a government house in five minutes. You can see what it means. Before, one hour, two hours, you can't even cross. Now you take five minutes. For those who are businessmen, for those who read economics, will understand what it means. This was done by us. What we named it after P.J. Womet and given to the Portugal Primary Health uh, Center, board. Here, I was telling you, our special guest of honor, it, it was a brother, all these harlots, yeah. yeah. Criminals took over here. In this property, civil servants took the rent for years. In fact, it was a mess. It had to take time leadership. One day I came here, I chased out everybody. They said they paid to government. I said, look, go to court. Go and show me where you paid. That is the problem we have. But today, by the grace of God, see what we have done with it. Again, I'm happy with the contractor. He's a local contractor. We try to support local contractors in order to give them the capacity. See what the local contractors have done. If you encourage our people, I think they will do better. But only those who are committed, not those you give the job, they put the money in their pocket. The first payment you give them, they remember how their girlfriend's car is not working. They remember how their mother's sister is not well. They remember how their sister's husband is not feeling too well. So instead of them to use the money to do the job, they will divide this money and then you have stories upon uh, stories. Look at, look at. By the time you go in, by looking at the aesthetics alone, it will tell you what the inside will, uh, will be. Just like what we did yesterday when we went to the Tyson Airport, the VIP lounge. 
You feel happy. Yesterday somebody was abusing me on their social media that I spent money to build a VIP lounge because of my private jet. <laughs> that tells you. So you can see. <laughs> you can see that there's nothing you will do that somebody will not uh, complain. <laughs> it's such a it's to tell the society where we are in. So encourage the local contractors those who are committed. Look at the NYC auditorium. The people who furnish it. Look at contractors. Nobody that, do, that went there that will not be happy of what was done. That also shows we have people who can deliver. We have also people who will not want to deliver. But God will catch them. If I give you a job, you don't deliver. You know where you're heading to. Because there are no two ways about it. But I'm very proud with the contractor for what he has done. And we believe that before we leave office, contractors like this should be encouraged the more so that we can begin to build more capacity and create more jobs for our people. My problem now is, what am I going to do with this uh, property? I was asking people, you and I know, part of the problem we have is maintenance uh, culture. And one of those that I have seen in life that cannot maintain anything with all due respect to them, civil servants. I can tell you that. Well, those of you who are from civil service before, Dr. Sassam Jaja, the deputy governor, I'm sorry. But that is the truth. So I'm just feeling here now. If we give it now to our civil service, what will happen in the next six uh, months? Head of service is here. All you hear, story upon story, is so terrible. But what government will decide what to do with it. But our happiness is that we have changed the landscape of the Portacot, of Portacot, we have changed the landscape of Portacot. So we don't have accommodation problems if really our people will agree to take government property as their own personal property. The way you live in your house, how you need to keep your house is also how you keep if you stay in public uh, office. Nobody who is dirty in his house will be clean in a public uh, office. It's not possible. But when you keep your house, when your house is clean, there's no way you will stay in a dirty environment. There's just no way. It's not possible. So, we'll try and see whether we can go back to civil service or oh, we do PPP. We have people who come and take it, leave it for a long uh, time, so they will be able to manage and keep here clean. That's the decision of government. But we're happy. At least for once we have chased away those criminals here. And all those uh, harlots here, giving us uh, problems. So thank God and thank the people of Orochi for not giving the contractor so much problems. This shows our community is a community that has a good relationship with the government. And I thank you people for that. And to keep it up, when you don't have a good relationship with government, it will be difficult for you to attract any facility in that uh, community. When we came here to flag up this uh, flyover, I did say 
Give the company support so they can finish it on time. And you did. You and other Oroko. People did give them the support. And see what we have today. Those of you who have property along this line can now sell their property if you wish. Billions of naira. Uh, before the property that was here, 10 million. You can't sell it now at less than 60 million uh, naira. So these are the, some of the benefits you can make. At least nobody can say Orochi is in a village. No. It's a developed city. And we can be proud of coming from a developed uh, city. Some people here from the village, they may not be happy. Wait for your own turn for, for your village to be developed. Those of us who are from this area, we are happy that we are from city. Happy Gimana, Happy of honor, what is important is to let you know, those of all from this part of the country, those of all from this state, we have started our campaign. Our campaign is Operation Show Your Report uh, Card. We are not campaigning because in the instance of faith, because INEC has not lifted the ban. But indirectly, we are campaigning by telling the state See what we have done. Ask us. The money that came to you, what did you do with it? So we are telling the vast people, since last week, every day, come and see what we have done with your money. Tell your people in Abuja to go home. to go home and support and canvass for your party to win election. Elections are not won in Hilton. Elections are not won in Sheraton. Elections are won in the village and in the community. We have what to tell the people tomorrow. See what we have done with your money. Time will come when we present a report card, local government by local government. I'm sure in the next few months we will be in Calabari land to commission the first phase of the Calabar Trans Calabari Road, which has never happened. Everybody tried to frustrate us, kidnap the workers. I told the company, if they like, they should kidnap everybody. That project must be completed. I said so. I said they are going to kidnap everybody from Sabuwa to Kono. It's about 31 kilometers. In the next few months, we'll be there to commission that road that has brought out the entire Ogori area. That has brought out Bori as a city. Today, I've approved money to be paid to the contractor handling the Andoni as aspect of the road. Sinna 5G, where your report card, if you don't know, you go know, where your 5G. Sinna 5G, where your report card, if you don't know, you go know, Sinna 5G. We can now your area be this So. For me, I made a promise that I will not go to Andoni to campaign if I don't finish that route. I called the Andoni leaders the other day and I told them, listen, the contractor will be paid, but you have your own role to play. Luckily, we are put a meeting tomorrow by 4 p.m. to see the leaders and stakeholders of Andoni. I don't want to hear. They kidnap anybody. If they kidnap anybody there, the road will not go on. I've told the council chairman, 
And I've told the contractors, sometimes you people go arrange for them to kidnap you. So that you take our money and say to go kidnap us. This one will not work. But that is the truth of the matter. Sometimes contractors arrange for the kidnapping and take our money and say, we can't go back to Saudi, they have kidnapped our... You know, Nigeria, all kinds of things uh, happen. So, I'm sure all those leaders who have refused are not able to have road, by the grace of God, you will now be driving home to Andoni. As of this morning, Ken Chikere does not allow me to sleep. Adoki does not allow me to sleep. I want to tell you now, the Abonoma Road and the Victoria Street will have released money for them to go and do that, those roads. <laughs> Every promise we have made by the special grace of God, we shall fulfill those uh, promises. So people ask me, where is this money coming from? I tell them we run Jesus' uh, economy. <laughs> Students of the Bible knew how Christ fed 5,000 people with five loaves of uh, fish. Before you know, money has come. You don't even know how it comes. And other states are crying. That's why I said, don't touch River State. The day you touch River State, you will begin to have problems. I have no doubt. All those who are scheming against River State, just watch how they will be having uh, problems. Because you are, you are the one who is going to look for trouble. You look for trouble, trouble will visit you. But if you leave River State alone, then you want to get peace. That's why I say people are scattered. Every day, they are quarreling, their BPs are going here. They are flying here. This person came here, that person came here. Everybody's worried. We are not worried. Are we worried? No. But they are worried because of your trouble. We are in peace. You came and wake up from uh, sleep. When you wake a tiger, a lion from sleep, don't you know what will happen? The kid will say, Mama, no go sleep. You go sleep. You go sleep. They never say the thing. We are peaceful people. God has blessed this state. God has protected this state. It's the most peaceful state as far as this country is uh, concerned. Nobody can. Every day, one project. Let other people try it now and survive. Sir, you have been governor. At this point where we are winding up, we are still flagging up projects. We are still commissioning uh, projects. Where has it happened? In this Nigeria, where has it happened? Some people are still talking about candidates or no candidates. Some people are still talking about where well, they can survive the salaries, and we are not talking about that. We are not talking about paying gratuities. God has been so merciful to us that we are going home, our shoulders high, that we have not disappointed our people. That is what is important in governance. When your people are happy, you will be happy. But when your people are not happy, will you be happy? Any man who is happy when his people are angry, then that man must be a wicked man. 
That man must be a wicked man. So I thank all the vast people for the support you have given us, for your prayers, your offering on our behalf. I'm continuing to let you know that we will not let you down. We will continue to do the best for rivers. And that's why we also tell you to listen to us. We will tell you those you will vote for. Do you understand me? Because we, we, I know, I will tell you who is a... Uh, but most of you don't know. There are those who want to come here to just want to be governor, but they have no agenda. And in any case, why would you change a winning team that has given you all this? Is there any need to change a winning team? No, no need. You don't know the one you go and bring now. You begin to run her task at her. So River State has done a lot of things for us. We owe River State a lot. Personally, I owe this state a lot for what they have done, giving me the opportunity. And I have not allowed this state to go astray, to run into the hands of armed robbers. I will not allow it. There are those who say they are from this state, but actually, when you look at it, they are not from this state. But they claim they are from this state. Maybe they were born there. Maybe they trace that their mother or their father had lived there for years. But how you identify who is from River State is one who loves the state. If anybody does not love the state, I say from River State is not the reverse person. Nobody that from this state that will hate the state. When I see people running her that scatter to sell their state for a pot of uh, porridge. I pity them. But everybody will give account of himself or herself. One day, you will give account of yourself. I will give account. And the account I'm going to give, River State, he gave me this opportunity, see what I've done, see what I've done, I've defended River State, I've challenged this country in so many things that have done so many things against the interests of this state. I will never sell this state for one couple. I will never. No amount of money, no amount of position you will give me will make me to sell this state. I will not do that. It's not in my blood, and it will never be in my, in my blood. Sin, Nadima, we can don't talk. If you don't get the report card, we don't go follow you. So I thank you. And therefore, I invite the special guest of honor. One day will come when I will narrate all these people who are selling the state. I will show you and I will publish their names. And publish all their contracts. So all of you will know who is saying the truth and who is not saying the truth. I will publish it. When I publish A, I say Mr. Z. I publish B, I say Mr. O. Can't I it. Can't I it. So, people should not be too greedy in life. When God has blessed you with small things, be contented with it. There are those who do not have the opportunities you have had. But I tell politicians, I feel proud of myself. As from chairman of council, nobody who has worked with me to say, you work with me, you didn't build a house, something must be fundamentally wrong with you. I challenge anybody that you work with me from chairman of council to chief of staff to minister to governor. You cannot say so. Other people should also say, when you are in this position, tell me who you have made from your area. Tell me. It's not only when you become a governor, no. Even the one you became, who and who did you make? Who and who did you make? 
Me, I can stay here and count. Even as I'm sitting here, I can count all of them. Without having the document here. I can. And that's what they call leadership. Not you, you, you. You, you, you. Some people have opportunity. So, somebody was accusing me the other day, whom I spoke with today through the through Sans and Jaja. He was accusing me, oh, I've given all my cronies land in OJR. Will I give my enemies? I, I, I can't understand. I should tell OJR I'm going to give to my enemies. It's not my friends I'll give to. Come and become governor now, and then don't give your own uh, supporters. In any way, there's no need again. I'm, I'm proud that I have a house in OJR. Only me cannot live there. Other reverse people should also live there, not outsiders. I'm proud to say that. I'm proud. That some people, when they were in position, they couldn't even do it. It's only them, 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 them. I bet I'm not going to tell them, make them sit down and beg, don't tell. Don't tell. This, this, there are people whose DNA is being greedy, greedy. Only them. So that's why we are not going to bring a governor that's very selfish. We will not bring a governor that's only him and his family. We are going to bring a governor that will follow what we have been doing and even surpass what we have uh, done. I don't pray that somebody who succeed me will be, I will be better than him, no. Somebody who succeed me will be better than what we have done. He will do better. And that is what is supposed to be. I will be happy. And we can, we love you. As you do leave, we love you. Make but, you not forget the state. You say them love you, oh child. We can, we, we can, can, we love you. You have justified the money they paid you today. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me invite the special guest of honor. So, talk to our people and then commission this remodeled. What a nice house. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs> Your Excellency, Governor Yotin Wike, the People's Governor. Mr. Project. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State. I beg to stand on the existing protocol. It is my pleasure to be in River State once again for another round of project commissioning. Just six months after the last one in March this year, I came here as an admirer, friend, honest advisor of Governor Yansim Wiki the people-oriented project initiated and commissioned in the last six months after my visit to commission the Eastern Bypass Road, it is a test testimony of good leadership with welfare of your people at, hand, at heart. Leadership is about people, well-being and welfare. And the feat Governor Nyansun Wike has achieved greatly in the last seven years of his administration. No doubt, the good people of River State are very happy with this development stride in all its areas covered around the state, 
in the last seven years. One good thing about Governor Mwike project is that they are direct bearing on the lives of the people from building of roads to flyovers, bridges, hospitals, markets, parks, waterworks, electricity, and are also equitably distributed across the state. Now, the waterland building due for commissioning today will not only improve interested movement and convenience, it will also enhance rapid economic development of the state, the Niger Delta region, and Nigeria. Governor Wike has become a rallying point, not only to the people of River State, but by extension, the entire country. Because of his consistency, courage, visionary leadership, I encourage you to remain steadfast and committed to the People's Democratic Party towards ensuring victory at the 2023 general election. I say this because, as an elder, I can feel and I can see brighter days ahead of you in this great nation of ours. I uh, urge the good people of River State to continue to extend cooperation and support the present administration in the state by maintaining peace, harmonious coexistence, security for more dividends of democracy. I congratulate the good people of River State on the ongoing commissioning of various projects executed by Governor Nyansu Mwike. I want to see the opportunity today to thank the good people of Buguma. That is where I started my secondary education. And that is uh, King's College of Commerce, Buguma. The people of Buguma are kind, loving, fantastic, wonderful people. When I was in Bugima, I was treated, if not more, equally like the indigenous. I wish I'm from Buguma State. I want as well to appreciate them for all they have done for me during my time in the school. That is King's College of Commerce. We are our principal, the late Barafama Barango, who was the principal of King's College of Col uh, Commerce those days. I thank the people of Buguma, and I pray may God continue to protect all of them. I wish them all the best. I pray for their peace and harmony. And I want to thank and appreciate them And as well, thank them for what they have done for me when I was in the school. It is unbelievable. But today, I'm here to commission one of the projects by my friend, my son, Chief Nyasi Mwike, the governor of River State. I will say, and I will thank them by saying, Tobra Mbote Ibim, God bless all of you.
Thank you and God bless. people of River State and Nigeria in general. God be the glory. Remodeled waterline building at PH Aba Express Road. For our court, River State, built by the administration of His Excellency Chief Barisa Yansom Ezomwan Wike C O N G S S R S P O S Africa, and commissioned by me, Al Haji Ibrahim Idris, former Governor of Kogi State, on this day, Wednesday, 17th August, 2022. To the glory of God.
Watching live pictures from uh, Port Harcourt in River State, right here on Channels Television, your home for the news, where the government of River State, led by Nyesong Wike, is uh, taking a tour of the just uh, inaugurated, remodeled water lines building at Orochi World War in Port Harcourt City. Uh, right here, we can see some pictures there with the former governor of Kogi State, who himself inaugurated that project just a few moments ago and the governor in the past two days has had very 
very good comments to make about the local contractors, those of them who have been able to deliver uh, the project that has been awarded to them. And uh, yesterday he talked about those who were not living uh, up to expectations. They will not have uh, a smiling face from the government. Let's listen to the National Anthem.